Hey, what's up guys? Dibluxer again. Welcome to the Red Storm mod for Men of War Assault Squad. We have done a video on this mod before. It was quite a long time ago, and back then it was for Men of War, just the, the basic game. And it also didn't have much to offer. Um, I've been, you know, I regularly look up on the mod development pages for the, the uh, uh, my, my mouth just started, <laughs> it was started malfunctioning, 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 I've had an ice, I've had an ice cream before uh, recording and now my, my mouth is starting to freeze up, my jaws are like slowing down, nah, I can't talk, no, but I, I regularly look at the mod development pages for all the different Men of War games, and sometimes you see something really interesting, um, and this mod is not out yet, um, I have a, just a good relation with like the entire modding community so I'm pretty fortunate enough to be able to sort of uh, help these mods get some publicity and record some gameplay so this first of all new animations this is super cool uh, this the scenario as you can tell by the title we're doing like a Cold War thing uh, we've got the DDR doing a mass assault on like the border checkpoint here of the East German em uh, East German Empire uh, not Eastern Germans Western Germans there you go just basically West Germany um, uh, and, um, just Germany, uh, it's going to be super cool, so the DDR is going to be attacking these guys, if this gets enough support, this video, um, I will be doing one featuring the Soviets and then Americans, so there are four factions, DDR, West Germany, Soviets, and Americans, which is super cool. And there's lots of good good equipment, overall good sounds, uh, good models. I like these skins and models greatly. The animations are super cool. We can take this guy and we can have him remove his weapon. We can, he can bring it up again. That's not the case. I wanted to show that reload animation. How fucking badass is that? Look. It's an actual like reload animation. And sounds are good. Ranges are pretty good. Animations are very good too in this mod. So... I'm pretty excited. Um, without further ado, let's start this battle. It's not going to be one of those five-minute intros. Um, the DDR is going to be attacking this border checkpoint. It's pretty heavily defended, but the DDR is coming in in lots of numbers. Uh, the Germans defending will be using some Lendley's M48s, um, along with some S, uh, S100s, uh, I believe they're called. What are they called? V100 commandos, which was also produced towards the uh, during the Cold War there, so... Equipment's a bit mixed, but yeah, pretty good. The uh, DDR, <laughs> which look awesome, by the way. Super cool. Um, look at these guys. The light. Or actually, they would probably speak German, of course. Uh, are going to be coming in in T-55s with the DDR logos. They've got some BTR-60s and BRDMs. So if it's a BTR-60, I'm not entirely sure when this thing was put into production. Like by the end of the 50s or in the 60s. But this scenario is going to play out sometime during the 60s, I guess. Just lots of infantry, and we have a little surprise coming in from, like, up here. So I thought we'd look at that first. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, disable HUD, because I like to disable HUD. We're gonna click Start, and we're just gonna be spectating this battle first of more to come. Oh, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this MI-24. It's a beast. Watch it spin its uh, main gun there. Oh, wow. It's gonna blow the infantry away. It's gonna rip some rockets as well. That's a really fast-firing autocannon, just so deadly. And it fired off a couple of 40 or 30 millimeter rockets too, which caused a bit of a devastating destruction right here around this area. Killed quite a lot of infantrymen. But the main assault is underway. We gotta focus on this. Whoa! Tanks and infantry massing the border here. The Germans are gonna do their best to try and hold out. Fallout! Love the DDR uniforms. Love the animations. It's a really cool mod. T-55s rolling up. Lots of them, too. So maybe we're just gonna try and make a hold here. We got a guy with a Panzerfaust here. Oh, that guy was just blown away. More destruction here in the center. And more troops and armor just massing over the uh, the hill here. They're going to be hitting the second line of defense. Cars made it down here. It's going to be opening up with the infantry. And it's going to go down. A fireball. Absolutely crazy. Oh, I believe the M48s are returning fire. 
Sounds are super awesome, by the way. They're really punchy. Really good smoke effects, too. These guys are gonna... Ooh, chopper's still active back here. Did you hear that? Yeah, it's still firing rockets. Hmm, it was meant to just go away, but... Uh... We're going to send some uh, Germans to man that AA gun and see if they can bring it down. Or not. More armors coming in here, clearing out the trenches, killing the infantry. Let me know if you guys want to see... Here's another BTR that's been struck. Look at that. Penetrated right into it and probably killed everyone inside. Horrible way to go down. Horrible way to go down. Oh, chopper's finally shot down. Not sure what got it. But it's going to go down and crash into the open there. That's cool. I believe one of these M48s and their 50 cals accompanying them. Perhaps this AA gun. Who knows? Took it down. Lots of DDR infantry coming over the uh, hill now. More tanks swarming down as well. Rocket. It's gonna knock that turret straight off. Render that thing useless. And explosion. Tank down, tank down. So if you guys like this mode, let me know. This this mode of me spectating it this way. Because I personally enjoy that a lot. Got some MG3s or MG42s spinning away here. Boom! Rockets are doing their job, though. Really stopping most of this DDR armor from getting through. But we can see here that the M48s are currently disabled, and what remains is infantry. Look at that guy. Ran out, got a G3, loaded it. Nice. We're gonna hug the trenches now, some of the remaining crew. Lots of dead infantry on the ground here. That's a result of the helicopter attack. Devastating firepower. More DDR infantry here in the open. Wow, wow, wow. Love the sounds too. They're, I was contemplating on changing them, but I think they're, they're good and they, they kind of get the job done. They're pretty high quality and they're very distinctive of each weapon. Look at this, got a whole little squad moving up here. Love the color changes, like you got the more kind of, kind of green bluish West Germans. And you got the more kind of brown, gray uh, DDR. So cool. Soviet looks awesome and the US troops look awesome too. So I can't wait to use everyone in game. Still contemplating on charging the trenches. They're still kind of in the open. Oh, that guy with the G3 is just going to gun him down. Starting to take casualties now. Oh, there's a shot down. This trench is pretty much cleared. You have some remaining brave Germans here, West Germans, defending against the Eastern Germans, the DDR. Deutsche Demokratische Republik, right? I think. And got some BRDMs here. And lots of DDR infantry moving up to secure the, the, the final bits of these trenches. Got some last standers down here. Before we end this video, I want to quickly preview to you some of the Soviets and uh, American troops and assets too. So you guys know what you're going to be seeing in the next video if you guys want to see it.
Look at these DDR troops. I love the reload animations. They're like the best, best. I mean, you don't really pay attention to it, but it looks really badass when they're reloading their guns. Oh, a vehicle just went down over here. No, it's that same tank. But it has changed position. I wondered if it moved. I really do. Anyway, guys, I think that's about it for the battle part. Yeah, I can see no surviving uh, Western Germans. Let's take a quick look at casualties. The yellow represent our guys. The red represent the uh, the DDR. And it's uh, they've taken quite a lot of casualties, but way many more tanks have gone down. Uh, we didn't have a lot of tanks defending, but there are lots and lots of destroyed tanks here and there, uh, just scattering the field. Uh, tanks that never got to cross into the other area. BTRs, you name it. Lots of infantry dead here in the open as well, trying to charge down at the trenches. But the chopper did a lot of damage. The MI-24 just took out the entire center here. So, really shows how devastating some well or some efficient air um, superiority can be. This guy's having a fag back here. Karsten Schmuckler. Stop schmuckling around with your cigarettes. There we go. Let's uh, head back here and do a quick little look at what we're going to be watching or seeing in the upcoming video. We have Soviets. Which, by the way, look fantastic. I like the look of these guys. We're going to bring them into the light. And we're going to scale them up a bit so you can see them. Looks good. I love the idle animation with the uh, sort of the way they've got the gun carrying. So that looks really cool. Here's a commander. Some of the helmets here are very iconic. Look at this guy. He's got a little cap. So that's going to be for the Soviet Assault. That they're, I guess, going to commence. We also have, of course, the Yanks. Yeah. That's not what they sound like, though. We're not going to get into discussion about impressions. It seems to <laughs> get a lot of people offended. Here we go. And let's bring these guys up to scale. There we go. They also look really, really cool. Uh, I believe a lot of the assets come from uh, World in Conflict, which was just a great Cold War um, strategy game. One of my favorites. So the Americans look great too. Yes, Got a guy here with the M60. Who could who could hate an M60? Really cool. Great stuff. M16s, and of course the armor that they will be using. We're looking at LAVs. I, mean, I think the LA25 is a little later. I'm not sure if it was like 70s or 80s. Um, definitely not 50s. Of course not. Um, MPT wise, MPT wise, we can of course give him an M60 A3. This thing is sick. This thing is a beast. Look at that thing. It just looks good. It looks good. It's got a nice thin little gun. We've got an MPT 70 here as well. Wow. Jeez. This thing looks ugly, but it's cool. I guess it. I guess it does the job. And if we want to progress into a little bit of a later war, we can always do T72 stuff. But anyway. TDR, they have successfully accomplished their objective while, of course, taking lots of armor casualties and all that good stuff. But that's what happens when you assault. Look at these destroyed T-55s just scattering and loitering around the hills here. Absolutely devastating. You even got some crewmen killed around here, and this tank is down, so... Huh. Actually, is it? It's not. Probably just hit him. Probably just rode him over. So now they're going to gather around here, talk a bit about a battle. Look, they're gathering up in platoons. That's cool, isn't it? So yeah, now they're going to wait for Soviet reinforcements. And in the next video, we're going to put the Soviets and uh, and some DDR assets versus the Americans and some East uh, uh, Western German assets, rather said. So see you guys then. Hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, this has been Deplex. Bye.